Ready or not, the Lord is coming. Ready or not, He is coming again. Oh, change your lights and keep it burning. Oh, ready or not, He's coming again. Ready or not, the Lord is coming. Ready or not, he's coming again. Oh, trim your light and keep it burning. Oh, ready or not, he's coming again. Will you be ready when the bright road comes? Will you be ready when the bright road comes? When the morning, noon, or night, will the light be shining bright? Will it be ready when the bright will come? Will it be ready when the bright will come? Will it be ready when the bright will come? When the morning, noon, or night, will the light be shining bright? Will you be ready when the bright groom comes? Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Sister Angel, and welcome back to another devotion. Um, my topic for this morning is behave well among Gentiles. And I will be using the SOAP method, which stands for Scripture, Observe, Apply, and Prayer. So the scripture is coming from 1 Peter 2, verses 11 to 12. And it states, Dearly beloved, beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Amen. So, first, I would like to talk about the 11th verse, which talks about how we are in a battle to make appropriate choices as children of God. It also says in the scripture to abstain from fleshly lusts, which means carnally and spiritually. It also means to hold which also means to hold yourself back constantly from temptation. Anything incompatible with our fellowship with God is a fleshly lust, like for example, a lust for power or a lust for money or a lust for clothes or for jewelry or anything like that in the 12th verse it talks about how our choice to do good deeds matter meaning that if someone who's an unbeliever sees your good works eventually they'll start to wonder why you do all those good deeds which will also cause them to believe in verse 12 it also brings up the day of visitation which can mean blessings and judgment redemption and etc apply you can apply this to your daily life by doing good deeds abstaining from fleshly lust carnally and spiritually and glorifying god no matter what and prayer God help, you could say, a prayer you could say is God help me to do good deeds even when no one believes the purpose. Help me to abstain from fleshly lust and help me to glorify you no matter what. And before I end off, I'm just going to say a prayer. Eternal and wise God, God, I'm going to thank you for waking up the person on the other side of the screen or whoever's watching this video right now, God. God, I want to thank you for continuing to keep us, Heavenly Father God. God, I pray that you help us to abstain from fleshly lust, anything that does not correspond with your plan for our lives, Heavenly Father God. God, I also want to pray that you help us to glorify you. God, I pray that you help us to believe even when nobody else believes, God. And help us to not be distracted and help us to not forget who you are, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Bye.